I was contemplating on whether I should do this video now or later but now seems the best time it's either now or early in the morning and it's about 12 15 a.m. and I need to see but it's like I just can't see without making this video so we are at the end of the challenge the celebrating number eight challenge celebrating Andres Dini's the leaving not retiring basically retiring from top tier football not retiring from football completely he is going to it should be japan it was a deal between china and japan and he chose japan even though china was paying a whole lot of money i guess the best reason why he go to japan rather than china is because of the world war three rumors and all those kind of stuff so not just something I should go into in this particular video so we have solar player beautiful no problem with that and your journey in the cup has ended by finishing the tournament at the round of 16 stage good luck and next uh, I feel sad now I feel sad all right let's, so let's look at this we, we have a tunnel loss it was unfortunate but if it has to be, it has to be. So the only thing we're in right now is the lead, which sucks. I guess exactly why I lost the cup, because the team that I set up, and it's basically the small team because I'm planning to stay back in the league, and I don't really have time because I have work. So that played a huge role in all of this, really. Grown up life is not sweet, bro. It's not sweet at all. I wish I was a kid again. Anyway, as far as the team goes, the team, what we are looking for now from the team is to build the team back up to a seven star team. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some vigorous training with all members of the team and keeping the three star squad playing in the leagues to make sure that we stay down in the league and secure that and it's not gonna be like last season where we put out the top top team and make the season catch us and catch us in a very difficult very very difficult league it's gonna be a little bit easier this time because I'm gonna push out this team to go over in the next season and then we're gonna be in a fantastic league and then we're gonna rip straight through it we're gonna rip straight through league and we're gonna rip straight through cup and when we rip straight through those two competitions, we are going to dominate Champions League, League and Champions League in the next season. Or at least get close to what we have. It will be very difficult. It will be very, very difficult. For one reason and one reason only. Because I'm working. Because I'm working, I'm not going to catch every single match. But I will try my endeavor best to make the best formation to play against each team. That is my promise to you. And I will see how best I can actually accomplish this. This method should be accomplished easily by any of you that's not in work. But even, say, without work, you still have this downing, irritating thing we call school, which is effed up. But the only reason why we stay sane and don't get insane in school is because we are friends and we have video games on our phones and we are out and idle, waste time, all the good stuff. I, it, we do that at work as well, but it's good, it's good. So the cup, the, the competition, the competition, it really was a sweet competition. It really is a breath of fresh air compared to what we have been got from December up until now because all the time those conditions were just shoveling shit on us because they were very difficult very hard to beat and only few could have won them this all the tours were extremely hard I do not know why they make it that hard even when I use small teams starting out with the league they still find a way to crank it up to very 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 insanely ridiculous in that tour condition, I won't lie, goals that I normally know would score, do not score. I don't know how. I have count, countless, countless counter-attacking opportunities. The one 
when you see it, you know exactly that it's gonna score. And you were like, no way, how did that not score? It? Those type of, really, you gotta be kidding me. I just opened my eyes and realized, but what I was talking about again, um, can I remember? Yeah, and, 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 and then you just see the goals about to score and then they just save it or it miss and you will see that looks so weird. It looks so weird. It looks so out of place. It's so forced that they win it. And I don't know if it's made easier for the persons that buy tokens and stuff like that. That they just give them an easy privilege and make sure that the team lay down to those who buy in tokens. And that is something that I'm not doing. That is something that I'm definitely, definitely not doing. But apart from that, this is a sweet challenge. 99.999% of the world completed it. If there's a 1% that don't complete it, I'm sorry. My condolences. And they gave a beautiful jersey as well, which I'm planning to use later on down in the future. But not now, I have way too much jersey. What else to talk about? Next competition, what will it be like? I have no freaking idea. It's only for us to wait and see. My best guess is that the next competition will have to do with something off the World Cup. This month is May and the next month is June. It's definitely about the World Cup. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely going to be tied some way with the World Cup. And a bit of advice to you guys as you are my people. I have to lay down some advice. Pay close attention to Top 11 Instagram because Top 11 Instagram is going to be pushing out a lot of token competition giveaways in the World Cup matches throughout. Mostly all of the matches are basically most of the important matches. They will be pushing out 50 token giveaways for each competition where they ask specific questions like how many corners do you think will be in this match? How many goals do you think will be scored in this match? Who will score the final deciding goal in this match? Those type of goals. Those type of competition. And if we all band together, one of us must get it right. There's a 470 something of us. And if all of us come up with some kind of answer on Instagram, we're pretty much gonna get something close to it. So it's a win-win situation for us, at least. Uh, we have the odds over them kind of thing. I really appreciate you guys. I'll be keeping an extreme eye out on any tokens coming in for this month, next month. Because I believe they may just drop one between now and June, July. They should drop a official token. And I will try to drop it as it comes out. Because as one of my friends told me on this channel that it seems that top 11 are now putting timers on their tokens because they don't want everybody to reap the rewards but i want everybody to reap the rewards so as soon as it drops i'm just gonna bam let's put it out there i could be on the toilet holding number two i could be in the shower bathing i could be sleeping in my bed under this here bam the tokens ready and bam and i put it out on there on the youtube channel right away everything Live and direct, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. It's really been a pleasure. There's just so much hard work doing right now, doing work and everything, and that I am currently in the middle of making a video, a movie for street racing. Five minutes, five minutes a day, going through editing the video and perfect it to perfection. The script is right and everything. And I have everything basically going through perfectly. There's a whole lot of things going on in my life right now. Even I played football today, training, and these guys just step on my left foot like seven freaking times. Over se seven freaking times. They stepped on my left foot seven freaking times. And all because the first goal I scored was my left foot. They just attacked my left foot. To give you an example, I was on the wing and I and the defender had the ball. 
I go to him and he literally put the ball over to his side where I wasn't and then he stepped on my foot. And you know the worst part is? He stepped on it again in the same area. I was like, what on? I was like, do you realize what he just did? You stepped on my foot two times in the same place at the same time. How on earth did he do that and not realize? Anyways, I scored two goals and we win the match. That's it. Moving forward. But thank you guys for watching. Is it over 10 minutes now? Yeah. I don't know how PewDiePie does it. Mm, they, 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 they bring it to 10 minutes. They, they are, it, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. Talking for 10 minutes. Oh, my goodness. You know, one time I could have done it easy. I could have slapped this way easy. But it's because now I don't, don't have much time. It's, it's just very hard to do. I understand. But it's probably time for me to go to bed. It's 12, 27, and I have to get up about 6.30. 6 o'clock to get to work at 7.30. Yeah, it sucks. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Oh, yeah. My other, my other team did well in this competition already. So, fantastic. And my association, my association, I have to talk about it. Nah, I don't have to talk about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. See you next time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh.